Welcome back, Trash Pack. In the last episode, we built ourselves a nice little garden. We made two new friends. And uh, we're uh, on our way to go check out the mystery spot from Snake Lady's Dreams. This should be an interesting sort of adventure, sort of day. But first, it seems I need to go check on my dinners. Let's go. All right, let's see what I can make here. Some more corn, that'll cook fast. And then what's the status on you? You're almost done. Carrots take a really long time. So I wonder if there's a faster way to cook the carrots, maybe? Sprout! Hey, uh, there seems to be quite a few new faces aboard. I like it, don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about your old Uncle Otto. You know me, I'm Mr. Personality. I can get along with anyone, anywhere, anytime. I just didn't think I'd have to make new friends at my age. You don't have to worry. I'll be all right. Sorry, I even brought it up. I'll just go stand on the edge of your boat and take in this splendor, you know? Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth. That's no fun. You need a hug. Yeah. A little hug always brightens my day. Yeah, it does. Um... What do you want? Did I give him fish last? No, I gave him veggies last time. Let's give you a nice grilled fish. The service on this ship is incredible. Yeah, he's really happy now. All right, so we've got our carrots. <clears throat> Which made a bunch of grilled veggies. That's it? That's all you get for that? Grilled veggies? I can do that with the turnips though. Whatever. I know that in this game, at some point, I can probably mix foods, but... Ugh, that's still obnoxious. I'll just make some coffee. Coffee cooks really fast. I need to go make sure everybody else is fed and hugged properly as well. You want something to eat? Would you like a nice coffee? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. I don't know how that counts as being hungry, but, uh, okay. And then it looks like the dear lady's still asleep, so I'm gonna ring the bell for her. Bing! Wake the fuck up, dear lady. It is way too late for everyone to be asleep. Quick, I can't think about anything else but food right now. Oh, she's sad. Um, what did I feed you last time? How about a shrimp cocktail? Ah, this is absolutely exquisite! Worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I've been to. <clears throat> And I've been in those a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah. I'd never forget you, dear lady. You're the best. All right. Everyone's been fed and hugged and everything else. Um, so I think we're ready um, to set sail. Um, where do we want to go? Oh, she wants to go here. The, to the Quartz Dragon. I don't know what I'm going to find in the Quartz Dragon. But you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Ooh, it's raining. I'm going to get a weird fish. Give, 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 give. Give, 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 give. Give, give, give me. Yeah, squid. Uh-oh, somebody's got something to say. Sprout! A storm! Let's try and catch some lightning! Remember your Everlight will protect you, what do you say? Let's do it, bro! Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go for the hundredth time. Yeah! I'm not gonna make it to that one. Oh, yes, I did it. Did 
I discovered Green Halton Bay! Hopefully I don't pick up yet another fucking boat member. I'm kind of out of fucking space already. Ooh, that's a lot of corn. Let us see what awaits us here. All oh, right, I remember this. Hold, bang. Hold, bang. Hold, bang. Hold, bang. Got it. Now I got some copper ore. Yeah. Hello. Hey. I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Alrighty. Um, I'll keep an eye out for your terrible poetry, I guess. Choppity chip chop chip chap chop. I needed that, I didn't really, but I'll do it anyways. Oh, here we go. Frog boy has something to say about something. Ooh, berries. I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to do some work on these later. You want like a... A hog or something? I don't really feel like it right now. Okay. So we got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find one of these poetry letters. No, but we found um, a valuable ring. What do I do with those? Can I sell those somewhere? Maybe I need them for Albert or something? Because the raccoon shop guy, I didn't see any option for that. Uh, I'm not seeing any, like, poetry letters out in the ocean so far. So that's a plus. Alright, off we head. Rain really ruins a day, doesn't it? Uh, depends on who you ask. Because my uncle seems to fucking love this shit. And then they're both asleep still, so... It's too early to go waking people up. Alright. <clears throat> so, we made it here. And that unlocked a little bit of area. What we want now is to find out what's going on with the quartz dragon. Yeah, let's go find out what's going on with the quartz dragon. Because I think this is the thing from her nightmare. So let's see if uh, we can get her over her nightmare. And in the process, we can also, uh, you know, do stuff. I don't know what my relationship to this character is. She keeps talking about teaching me things. So I thought maybe she'd be like a teacher. But the, when I first met her, she said, this time I'll be the one to teach you something. So was I, like, some kind of mentor to her? I'm not sure. Isn't that interesting, though? What is our relationship? Hopefully we'll get enough uh, tidbits later to uh, figure that out. All right, everyone needs to wake the hell up. It's time. It's time to do 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 I thought that might be it. The dragon. I guess it is inevitable that it would be here, following me always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it? 
Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve, deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. How did that feel, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. We gotta climb the dragon. Here we go. Bam. Give me that sweet, sexy quartz. Ah! I've never fought a dragon before by clearing its fucking acne problems. That one's kind of new. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I can't jump that high. Shit. Okay, I see what your game is, game. All right. And then I gotta come up here and then bam. Ah! Hope that makes you feel a little better. It probably will not. Bam! Got him. We fucking got him, boy. So wait, she said in her previous life she was being followed by this dragon. So is this dragon like a metaphor for something? Or were we always living in some kind of strange fantasy world? Huh. I'm guessing a metaphor. The dragon must be some kind of metaphor. Uh, maybe for like, uh, I don't know what it would be though. Uh, it's always being weighed down by like heavy rocks or something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up some like analysis videos on this or some shit. There's like some interesting stuff going on here. Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. An old acquaintance. Interesting. Yeah, she's not a fan of the weather. I want to check out this. Ooh, give me carrots! Ooh, give me whatever these are! Yeah! Let's have a chat with uh, my friendly uncle. Do you want a nice, delicious... Um, what did I give you last time? Delicious! I had a hankering for this. And a hug. I need to check on Stella, though. Wasn't that great? Yeah, it was. Oh, I can give people stuff. I want to give people stuff. Uh, what did I have you eat last time? I want a comfort food. She's not hungry. What about a hug? No, she's fine. Okay. So everybody seems to be in good order, good shape. So that's the dragon. Looks like it's just a place to uh, mine certain materials. Um, I actually want... Yeah, okay. So it looks like we can head into this crate and then straight line it over to Albert's. So that's what I want to do. Jump down! Why, hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit fairer. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. You can say I'm a sort of wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Objects, curious, chocks. I just buy everything. Simply put, I'll buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Let's see. Um, old shoe, old shoe, old shoe, old shoe, old shoe. Those old shoes actually were worth something. I am genuinely surprised. An old carpet? Dusty, but precious the main piece should be sold. Okay. So this is just sell items. Oh, I got enough to get the, uh, the key. I can get the key. I can get the key. Empty shell. 
Uh, still quite common on the... I mean, I don't want this stuff, so... Um, what about here? Quartz. Probably gonna need that stuff. Alright, and then see what we can buy off of you. Anything worthwhile? Odd seeds? Yeah, we'll take those. And empty bottles. I'll take all of them so I can catch more lightning later. Alright. It was a pleasure to meet you, strange man. Oh, oh god, I forgot his voice is gonna be rough on me. Stella! I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. You might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. Um, upgrade. Um, so we can afford the hobbyist. Ooh, how much is that? 1200 oh. So let's get the hobbyist. Let's get the intrepid other so we can get a little bit of bigger boat. And then a mailbox. Oh, I need uh, maple planks and linen threads. Where do I get those? I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. Ha ha ha. I like you. You're good. You're good people. All right. We got to look at our options here because we got more stuff now. How do I get oak and maple planks? Linen thread? Um, I can make a kitchen, but I don't need one. A loom. Okay. I'm going to need a loom. All right. That's probably how I get linen threads. Um, let's go ahead. Set you up here, maybe. We'll set you here for now. So I need other stuff. I can't make any of that. Foundry, ores, and ingots. Yeah, so I'm going to need... Oh, I'm going to need a sawmill. So I need linen to make a sawmill. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, this is going to be rough. Um, I want to rearrange everything here in a minute, too. But I think I'll do that after this video and before I start the next one. Because it'll, I'll just have it rearranged. I can show it off at the beginning of the video or whatever. I'll get to actually, you know, take my time in making everything. Let's do it. Add. Let's add all the linen I've got. And let's loom. So what do I do? Do I just... Oh, okay. I hold this. Ping. Oh, got it. Oh, this is easy. And kind of relaxing. This game is incredibly relaxing. Let me just say that. Like... If anyone was thinking about playing this game, like, this is a really kind of casual, peaceful, relaxing kind of game. Like, you can very easily just kind of lose a few hours uh, fucking doing something like looming. Is that going to be enough to build the other stuff I need? That's what I want to know. But first, I'm going to do my maintenance stuff. Yeah, so let's go try and build our sawmill so we can get our plank so that we can get our uh, other stuff that we need. Okay, so I can build a sawmill now. Ooh, the sawmill's really big. So that's going to have to go up here. All right. I think we're starting to get it. I am going to have to reorganize everything, though, at some point. Um, oop. Let's do ten. So we've got nine maple logs and one sawdust. 
Wait, does that just make logs? Wait, hold on. Doesn't that make boards? Or is that different? I'm confused. I don't understand how this works. Um, how do I check my inventory? Inventory R? Yeah, okay. Got an oval, we got the key for Stella's cabin. Um, open. Open. A lumberjack without an axe, crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cutting. We'll grow old, they said, laughing. I like that. Um... We got a lemon. It's a plastic lemon. Um, so what I want to check is I've got sawdust. It's cor it's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Anakin intensifies. So the logs didn't turn into. Did I do this wrong? Why can't I run this? What is going on? Oh, is it because it's nighttime? It might be because it's nighttime. So let me do this. Because I actually want to try to get this mystery plant grown. Find out what this mystery plan is. Uh, what? Okay, it grows junk. Weird. Weird junk plant. That was the last thing I expected in the whole universe. Oh, God. Oh, my leg is all cramped up. Let me give you a hand! When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you end up losing a pinky or an arm. Or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer from good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Um, let's try. Alright. Oh shit. Would you look at that? Oh, this is like actually kind of hard. Oh, that was a good one. So this one's a bit of a challenge. The other ones were much harder, much easier. Okay. So... I definitely want to probably do these in bulk instead of uh, doing them once in a while because this will get tedious for everyone. So I can do these off camera in big bulks pretty much as I need them. 
or maybe do like a fast forward thing through it. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening as the playthrough progresses, but I think I'm mostly getting it pretty good. Oh, that's a bad one. Not getting too much value out of that. That one's a solid one. This game's kind of hard. This is like the hardest mini game so far. Although I'm sure once I get the hang of it, it'll be different. I want to build my mailbox so that the what's his face will shut the fuck up too. All right. Would you look at that? You did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with this sawmill. Don't go and mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you got left over wood doesn't mean you should cut your hands off. Yeah, yeah, I got it, bro. Brozowski. Oh, everyone wants to fucking talk to me right now. A word, please. I don't know if you noticed, but I have been very tired recently. And I'm afraid to say that's starting to end my morale. I, want, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask of you really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously. And then we could continue our lessons, but nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella. Deeply. <clears throat> All right. Sprout, you've been chopping it up in the... Uh, you've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic with just a few hinges here and a few nails in there. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Oh my god, everybody fucking wants something. <clears throat> As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd just like for you to put effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You know, never with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Are you hungry right now? You want a nice coffee? Yeah. And a hug. So, oh my god, I'm not gonna have room for any of this. Improve? What does improve do? Build. So, what else did we need? Foundry? Oh, I don't have any of the things I need for the foundry yet. Summer Sanctuary and Otto's Workshop. I need more linen. And I need oak planks. So we're gonna need oak... Um, but I should at least be able to build, I think, the mailbox. Okay, I can improve the guest house if I have fire glow. Can't quite improve the kitchens yet, though. Why can't I build the mailbox? Oh no, I need to go into the shipyard, don't I, to do this. Well, that's a nice garden! Knock, knock! Who's there? Lettuce? Lettuce who? Lettuce in and you'll find out! <laughs> oh, that hurt me. Okay, I got my maple planks. I got, yeah. So let's put in a mailbox. Opens up a nice passage. And then I don't have anything I need for that yet. How much money do I have? Uh... I could get this, but it would take me down too much for, uh... 
All right. So, I've got mail. Let's go check that out. You've got a letter from Albert. How's workshop playing in line? Shenanigans. Okay, so how do I read my letters? It's got to be over here somewhere, right? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Stella! Make sure you change your address permanently. You'll have more letters coming shortly. Make sure you keep up with your writing. Pen pals are the best. Everyone knows that. All right. These odd seeds are such a bizarre feature in this game. Like, it just grows shoes. What the fuck is that? I can just grow old shoes, I guess. Magic. Magical old shoes must be grown at all times so that I can sell them for glamours. All right. Well, we got a few things done. We climbed onto the back of a fucking dragon. We mined a bunch of resources. We met a strange junk selling fella. And on top of that, we've made a bunch of upgrades to the boat. Um... So I think I'm going to rearrange everything on the boat that I currently have um, before we start the next episode. So whenever we come in next time, uh, there might be like a bunch of changes to my layout on the ship. Because I feel like my current layout is uh, non-optimal. There's a, It's a lot of clutter. And if I'm going to have to add two more houses and a whole other like shop thing... Uh, I'm definitely going to need to make a lot of changes. So look forward to that. Um, don't forget a like. Don't forget a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I think that's going to close it out for this episode. So I will see you all in the next video. Peace.